and this is uh, Joe from crystalsubstrates.com uh, and today we're talking about magnesium aluminate uh, also known as spinel um, you're probably wondering why do I need another single crystal in my life or in my lab well this one's pretty cool it's got a whole um, crystal structure named after it the spinels or crystal group named after it um, it's uh, got the uh, which has the spinels have a form of A, B2, X4. Um, so the A is normally um, divalent cation, the B is um, a trivalent cation, as it's aluminium, and then um, the X could be uh, oxygen or sulfur, typically oxygen, especially when we're dealing uh, with these kind of materials in the lab. Um, so, like perovskites, you can have you know, different, um, on the A, B sites, you have. Um, different cations with different uh, valencies and therefore you've got a bunch of interesting properties uh, that can come from it um, and in terms of use as a um, single crystal really available in so it's got a cubic structure the spinel structure is cubic uh, and it's uh, available in orientations 100 111 and 110 um, it's got a relatively large lattice parameter of 8.089 but if you halve that then that's about just um, just over four angstroms so if you think of uh, typical um uh, typical kind of perovskite structures might go from let's see what, what, uh 3.6 something up to kind of the high just under four and then spinel is just creeping above that four so if, you, if you've got some um some thin films that you're growing with a slightly Larger lattice parameter, or if you're, or if you're looking at materials like um, BSTO, where the ratios of, of what's in there kind of pushing it towards that higher end, then this would be a really good material to uh, to stabilize it. There's a whole host of materials that grow nicely on on spinels, on spinels. So um, anything from perovskites to three five nit nitrides. Um, as well as other spinel materials, important group of materials that should be mentioned here, which don't may not stabilize uh, quite as readily, readily on, on something else. There's a whole bunch of interesting spinel materials from cobalt, chromium, uh, spinels, cobalt, um, iron, nickel, iron, copper, chromium, uh, which all have their own interesting properties. So that this would be the starting place for that or any kind of variation on those. Uh, it's highly transparent, 85% transparency above 300 nanometers. Uh, in terms of our RMS reference, about 0.5 nanometers, under 0.5 nanometers. So um, that sounds good to you. Pick some up from us today, from, us from anywhere, um, from 5 by 5 all the way up to kind of 2 inch um, diameter crystals. Uh, let us know and um, happy growing.